hello there everyone welcome to another video it is me Desiree and my hair is living its own life today just just let it do whatever it's doing anyway today I wanted to give some alternatives to the Ciate Jessica Rabbit collection eyeshadow palette I know this is sold out and a lot of people feel like they're going to die if they don't get it I did a first impression on this uh, yesterday and the, I don't like this this is not a good eyeshadow palette it's not a good formula I tried so many different things with this palette yesterday. I wiped off what I had on. I tried it again. I wiped it off. I tried it again. I wiped it off. I tried it again this morning, multiple times wiping it off. And it, it's not working. It's just not a very good formula. This one right here already has like this hard pan on it. That's really hard to get any shadow off of. This one here is not really good. This one's kind of flaky. These are really lightly pigmented. The mattes on the bottom these two here do swatch really pretty, these two, but it's impossible to get them on the lid like that. I've tried it with my finger. It does not go on. I've tried it with a brush. I've tried wetting the brush. It's just, they won't stick on the lid. And I thought maybe they won't stick because there's other shadows already there. Like I thought maybe because I had some matte already on my lid that one of these would be really hard to go on top of. Tried them on their own. I tried them with primer when, when without primer and it, they're just not working. I feel like this is a huge, huge disappointment of a palette. So if you were looking at this palette and wondering about like the shades and look at all the looks I can create, I have a bunch of alternatives here for you. Some things you might already own. I do. I am wearing one of these alternatives today. And I just think that this, this is a huge disappointment for me. Um, packaging, really nice, but shadow quality is really, really disappointing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you some alternatives that I have and hopefully... It will make you feel a little less like you're going to die because, you know, when you see something like this, you imagine the looks you're going to create. And I'm going to show you some things I think are way, way better. So I will show this every time I'm showing the palette just so you can see the comparison. But the first one I have here is the Lorac Unzipped Desert Sun Palette. This is the one I'm wearing today and I really, really like this one. I love the formula. I think this is just a really beautiful palette. And I think that it is a really, like, better... I mean, as you can see, every shade in this one is pretty much in this palette. The really nice purple, the really nice, like, ready berry one there. There are some really nice mattes, a uh, gold, these ones right here we have in here. And I think this is a thousand times better than this one because the shit, the shadows in here are actually going to show up. The purple is actually going to show up purple. The berry is going to show up berry. The mattes perform really well. This is just an awesome palette, and this is the one I have on today. Like I said, I really, really like this and think... If you already have this one, you don't need it. You don't need this palette at all. You're not going to die if you don't get it. Um, I, I know this is one that Lorac, I think, is phasing out. I'm not sure, but I found this at Nordstrom Rack only like two weeks ago. There was a bunch of them, a bunch of them. So definitely seek this one out if you're wondering about, if you want to create a look like this and um, way better alternative, way better formula, and I really, really like that one. Another one that I feel... This is not, okay, so some of these palettes are not exact dupes. I feel like this one is almost exactly the same shade-wise. But some of these are just going to create the same sort of look and tone. But the next one I have here to show is the Tickled Peach palette from Too Faced. One of my favorite purchases ever. I absolutely adore this. But this is how it looks. Definitely a smaller selection. But you do get a really nice purple in here. You get a really nice berry shade in there. You get a couple of nice mattes. You'll get this like lighter shade here. Um, that might, you know, replicate the kind of look you'll get with this one here. And I just think that far better formula, way better alternative. And if you already have it, I don't feel like you have to have this one. This I'm going to tell you every time, you don't need this one. So yeah, that's a great one too. Another really good alternative is from Collab. This is the Palette Pro Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Strike a Rose. Um, obviously, a, a little different of a palette here, but you do get a really nice red one up here. You get a really nice matte, which looks very similar to the matte that's in the Ciate palette. You also get a really nice, like, gold metallic one here that looks just like this. I'm trying to do this with both hands. That looks just like this one. Another purple in here, this one right here, that actually performs and looks really, really good. Very similar to the shade called Oh Roger that's right there. Way better alternative. I'm going to say that about all of these, but if you already have this, you don't need that one. Another really good one is from Revlon. This is the uh, Enigma. This is one of their looks book eyeshadow palettes. I love these things. This one is super similar to this. Another one that I feel is like almost identical. Um, 
this one has obviously the really deep purple it's got a really nice red one it's got some really great mattes some great gold shades and if you have this or if you want to pick this up it's going to perform a thousand times better for you it's only ten dollars and I think that you're going to create the same kind of looks with this palette that you are with this, but you're actually going to be happy with this one here. Um, this is this is one that I feel is like very, very similar, if not identical, to the Ciate palette. Really love this formula as well. Another one that has a lot of the same kind of shades as, an, as a Maybelline palette. This is the Soda Pop. I'll hold it upside down for you. And this is how this one looks here. You get the purples, you get the orange, you got a, a berry one up there. I think that's the soda pop. Oh no, cherry on top. You also got the one called cherry cola. This one right here. That's really, really beautiful. And you get a couple of mattes in the soda. Um, this is like super bright, bright, I'm sorry. Um, but I feel like you'll create very similar looks in this palette that you would from here. Except you're going to like this one. I think this is a really great palette. I love the formula of these Maybelline eyeshadows. And I think this is a way better alternative. Um, yes, definitely one that if you already have it, don't feel like you're going to die without the Jessica palette because it's just not even that good. Um, I have four more palettes here to show you. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Soap X Ultra Eyeshadow Palette. This is a palette that I... I don't like the smell of this. This stinks to me. It smells so cheap. But the shadows actually perform very, very well. But I don't use it that much because of the smell. And I can smell it on my eyes. But when you look at this one, you're going to see all the shades in here are in here. The purple, the berries, the mattes, the orange, the red. All the same shades are in here. It's a fraction of the price. These shadows actually perform very well. I don't really like Makeup Revolution all that much. And I don't like a lot of their eyeshadows. But this one is actually really nice. And you create very, very similar looks to the Jessica palette. And I feel like, I don't know, better bang for your buck with that one. Um, we have next up the TARDIS Pro Remix palette. And how do we do it? Let's do this one this way. So as you see, you get the purples, you get the red here, the berry metallic, the orange. You get some nice mattes. And let's hold them side by side. You see you very, very similar colors. A lot more options in here. I feel like this one's like $10 more. And you get way more options. You get a really nice formula, a big old palette, great mirror. And you can create all the same looks with the Tarte palette that you can with this one, except, guess what? You're going to like this one a lot better. And it's definitely a better alternative, especially if you already have this. You don't need the Ciate one. The next one is the good old Jaclyn Hill palette. Like, this one can definitely create so many um, looks from a whole bunch of different palettes. Every time I look at this palette, though, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my god, there's too many orangey brown shades. There's too many red shades. But... When you look at it, when you're trying to create dupe sh um, shades in the Jaclyn palette, obviously you got the purple, you got a great metallic berry right here, you got a purple that actually shows up very, very nice and actually purple and actually performs well. So if you were going to get this for those two purples, you're going to be so disappointed. You also got that orange metallic in here. You got a couple of them. You got a couple options in here. You have this one. You got this nice gold one. You have a couple of great mattes in here. This is just a really great palette and one I enjoy using regularly. But definitely one that's you can dupe this palette easily with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Also, go through your singles every once in a while and see the different shades you have. I pulled out a little quad here. These are just some singles I have already in my little Adept palette. And I just wanted to see if I could create a look with this palette. Like I grabbed a nice metallic orange one right here from NYX. Like this is one of my favorite NYX eyeshadows. It's just so, so pretty. I think that one's called... I don't remember what it's called. I don't think I wrote it on the back either. No, I didn't. But it's one of the single eyeshadows. Are they called prismatic eyeshadows from NYX? You also have this... I have this really great gold one. That's another NYX one. This really great purple. This is an Anastasia and then this one I think is Makeup Geek. Oh no, it's Urban Decay Bust. And I feel like just a few little singles, you'll get a very similar look and tone to the Ciate palette. But they're using things you already have. So sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed also looking at all my singles. But when you're trying to find shade for shade dupes, it's super easy when you're putting them in a palette like this. And this is going to create a, a, a look for me that's exactly the look I would feel like I would want to create with this palette. But guess what? I'm going to like this one. And then something else I want to mention that's not really a shade or kind of color family dupe, but it's a formula 
that Ciate makes. They make these Astrolytes palettes that are spectacular. This is one of my favorite finds of last year. I love this thing so, so much. It does have a kind of some similarities to this palette, a couple shade options that are really similar. But I think if you have both of these palettes and you're, you're looking at them and you're like, do I want this one or do I want this one? They're both the same brand. I feel like they're similar cost. I would go with the Astrolytes all day, all day long. This is such a better formula. It's a better color payoff, a better wear time. This is just so disappointing to me that I can't recommend it. If you feel like you're going to die without this, I think just look at the things you have. Appreciate what you have. You have a lot of things that are already probably like this. I mean, I know I do. I, I just showed you a whole bunch of them. And this is something that I feel like if I had seen it in store and was able to swatch it first, I would not have purchased it. It isn't available in store. I haven't seen it anyway available in the store yet. But if you're able to swatch this out first, definitely look at it first. Swatch it out. Don't just go by the reviews. Every single review on Sephora's website is positive, except one. One negative one because the person got it broken in the mail. Every single review is positive on this palette, and I don't get it. I do not understand why this is... I, I don't get it. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, that's it. That's this video. I also have not been able to find a dupe for the highlighter. I'm wearing the highlighter again today. I piled it on a lot more and I think I kind of like it now. I know in my other video I said I wasn't loving it or crazy about the highlight, but I think I kind of like it now and I cannot find a dupe. I mean, I had swatches on both arms this morning. My boyfriend, I was like even telling my boyfriend, do any of these look the same? Can you tell me any of these? He's like, no, none of them look the same. I can't find a dupe for it, but I do have lots of better alternatives to this baby and that is that thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful for you and hopefully made you feel a little less like you're gonna die without that palette but that is that my friends thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another video uh, goodbye